Hi, today we are going to learn how to allow access to pages on your site after accepting the disclaimer. CM Welcome Message and Disclaimer is a WordPress plugin that lets you create custom welcome messages or ask users to verify site legal terms. Before creating our first disclaimer, you can configure the default settings of the plugin according to your needs. Navigate to CM Welcome Message and Disclaimer – Settings. There you will find all basic settings. Now we need only a few options. Custom post types. Choose the types of posts where the welcome message or disclaimer may be displayed. Message model padding. You can set padding in pixels for all your message boxes. The other needed settings are about the appearance of the accept and decline buttons, the order how they appear, their background color, font color and font size. Click the button update after configuring the plugin. Now we can create the first disclaimer. To do this, navigate to CM Welcome Message and Disclaimer, Add New Message. First we need to type the title. Below you can see the form message content. This is the main box you need to fill. Here you can add any content as well as any media, video, hyperlinks, etc. All of the HTML valid for the post or page is also valid for the message. For editing the message you can use Visual Editor or Text Editor. For example, if you need to build in a video. Click Update to save the changes. You can customize your post content using Add Designer. To launch it, click the button Show Add Designer. Using the controls, you can change the way how the banner should look like and see all changes in the box Banner Preview. Next step is to configure the appearance and behavior of the disclaimer message. There are five sections with additional options. Let's consider them step by step. First tab is Accept button. Here you can find the following options. Show Accept button. Enable it to display the Accept button below the disclaimer message. Button label. By default, this button is displayed as Accept, but we can change the label. Let's change it to Agree. Agree to terms before Accept. Enable this option, so the user will have to check the agreement box, otherwise he can't click the Accept button. Terms text. Here we need to put the text of agreement that user should read for accepting. Terms URL. If you have the terms of agreement on the separate page, you can put here the URL for this page, so terms text from previous option will be displayed as a clickable link that leads to that page. Second tab is Decline button. The options are Show Decline button. Enable it to display the Decline button below the disclaimer message. Button label. By default, this button is displayed as Decline, but we can change the label. Let's change it to Disagree. Button redirect. If the user disagrees with the terms, we can redirect him to another page, for example, the home page. Just write their needed URL. This way we can restrict our page from the users who don't accept the terms. Auto redirect time. We can limit the time of being the user on the page before he accepts the terms. If the user doesn't accept or decline the terms within defined period of time, he will be redirected to the URL that we set in the previous option. Third tab is Display Options. Here you can define the size of the message box, its width and height. Two options for the desktop version and two options for mobile devices. You can change message background color. The value must be in hexadecimal color format. And last option is for choosing the shape of the message box, with rounded or sharp edges. Next tab is Advanced Visual. The options are Show Effect. Choose here the effect of the disclaimer message appearance. Delay to show. We can set the time in seconds when the disclaimer message will appear after the page is loaded. As there is no need in this for us, we can leave it empty, so the message will appear without any delay. Show interval. We can set how often the disclaimer message will appear for the user. In our example, it's enough to show the disclaimer message only once, until accepted. Repeat disclaimer every. Even though the user accepts the terms, we might need to remind him the terms from time to time. Statistics clicks counting method. Choose the method how to collect the statistics. Disable option to close message window. Check this box so the user will be able to close the message window only by accepting or declining the terms. Last tab is Activity. The options are Show on every page. Check this box to display the disclaimer message on every post or page of your website. Show on home page. Check this box to display the disclaimer message on the home page either. 
Minimum device width. Select the minimum width of the device where the message should be displayed. Show on URLs matching pattern. If you haven't selected to show the message on every page, you can define a pattern in which the message will appear. It can be a category or a permalink path, for example your blog articles. This will cover all URLs with the pattern that you can see on the screen. Show on selected posts or pages. Choose from the drop-down menu to display the message on specific posts or pages. You can select multiple pages and add them one by one using the button Add Page. Let's choose for our example the page that we called Secret Page. Activity Dates Click on the plus button to set an activity date for the disclaimer message. This will determine appearance the disclaimer message only on specific dates. You can define multiple date range including exact time per each. Now when everything is configured, click the button Publish. Now let's look how it works on the front end. In result we have a page where the user must accept terms of service, otherwise he will be redirected to the home page. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to restrict pages on your site and allow users access them only after accepting the disclaimer. Thanks for watching the video.